Okay, um, so here's the the presentation on this. Let's see if it loads. So this is uh, chapter nine, if I believe, uh, if, if this is correct, I believe this is cha chapter ni nine in the book, which talks about all these topics. Uh, and um, someplace we have, uh, we had an example of a composition. I don't know if I have it on my uh, drive. I think at some point I did have examples of some of the diagrams. Uh, cardinality, uh, UML relationships, I know what that is. Class, let me try this. Uh, so let's just quickly go through this. takes so long to load this picture viewer. All right. So again, an example of composition. Remember, uh, composition is filled a rhombus on the side of the whole part, whereas the parts are outside. And uh, just like a normal association with just one weak line connecting two objects, um, uh, you can have cardinality specified. Uh, uh, cardinality one typically is not specified because it's the default but as you can see we can from this diagram we can say that car is made up of four wheels five seat belts two windshields and uh, which is kind of wrong thing to do uh, but uh, uh, the also one steering wheel so those rhombuses just suggest that as soon as the car comes to life all these parts will be made at the same time. Perhaps car constructor is also making and manufacturing four wheels, five seat belts and so forth, right? So these are all, the, this is an example of composition. This is an example with multiple inheritance, which we don't have in Java, whereas, you know, bank account and real estate are both insurable items, but Real estate also is a kind of asset, whereas the bank account is also an asset, but is also an interest-bearing interest item. And again, in Java, you cannot say extends, extends, extends three times. You have, you can say it only once. In C++, you can do that. So we can, we can, uh, we can later on, we can actually write some code which demonstrates uh, how things are done at this level. Uh, next example of a diagram uh, just uses some of these associations. I'm going to skip over that. This is inheritance, whereas the, the, there's a printer, right? But uh, this is a, a essentially an abstract class which has print method, which everyone wants to use, but printer doesn't know how to implement print method, right? But the laser printer, inkjet printer, or fax machine all know how to print and so they do provide the actual uh, concrete implementation of method print so this is what we call generalization relationship or simply inheritance most programmers like to say inheritance but UML official UML says okay this is the kind of uh, relationship that we name generalization because printer is more generic Whereas, or, or more abstract, more generalized, whereas inkjet printer is very specific and more concrete. So these are the two opposite sides of, you know, being more abstract or being more concrete. And uh, by the way, a uh, fax machine could be also extended by something like a, 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 a copier printer and fax, right? Which can also do m many more things rather than just being solely a fax machine. So inheritance can grow down here as well, right? So there could be multiple levels of inheritance. That kind of makes it uh, tr more truthful uh, in many cases um, and more useful. 
so another uh, example with aggregations I'm not this is we discussed this a, a while ago I'm just trying to look at some of these uh, this is also gen generalization uh, example uh, but uh, we started with this slide yes at least we saw the composition with the car I just wanted to make sure that we kind of highlight what composition is Uh, by the way, interestingly, if we went back to the simple diagram with the car, with the wheels and seat belts and so forth, if those rectangles were not filled, they were just, you know, empty block, uh, rectangle, uh, rhombuses, I guess, uh, that would be more uh, appropriate uh, uh, description of the shape here. But if they were just not filled, like, like uh, unfilled uh, rhombuses, what that would mean is perhaps from the application standpoint the same thing in order to use car effectively to be able to fully functional you need all of these surrounding parts we would call it an aggregation with not filled uh, rhombuses but the only hint that that makes is that it's still okay to manufacture a car object in memory but later supply some wheels or vice versa you can provide you know you can manufacture a lot of wheels and seat belts and everything else and then start making cars and and p pick and choose which uh, wheels or which uh, seat belts you want to attach to the car when you create a car object so that would be called an aggregation which is again from the functionality standpoint you still need all of this to make car functional but from the ter in terms of the the programmer standpoint in terms of instantiation of these parts you'd be you'd have more flexibility by the way <laughs> uh, having more flexibility isn't necessarily a good thing in programming typically m the more restricted you are the lesser number of mistakes that you can make because you basically focus on one way of doing something and you know done that few times in a row you already know exactly what to do and you make less mistakes the more flexibility you have more you know it just it's more complicated therefore more space for bugs to 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 you know uh, take place and, and, and exist there so anyway uh, so these are some of the things so uh, s essentially, again, going back to the overlooking generalization, aggregation, association, cardinalities. Um, um, how do we express relationship between objects early on, even before programming code is written? So again, uh, what helps is that we say, let's draw diagrams. Very simple idea with some discipline with some rules that apply to these diagrams we can express our designs very effectively and we can share our ideas much better than constantly just writing paragraphs of text to describe what we want to build right so inheritance clearly is an is a relationship and this is a is a good test uh, for example going back to the car thing should I have derived car from a wheel because you know maybe if the car had just one wheel and I wanted to derive my car from that wheel uh, what would have happened is that uh, I could do that right programming language wouldn't complain just say okay car extends wheel but then does it stand the test car is a wheel no the answer is no therefore inheritance doesn't work we use aggregation or composition as on this particular diagram so so this question does very you know looking at the concept can can it stand the test that employee is a person perfectly yes it, it works it works so uh, that test works pretty well so on the other hand again going back to the to the car uh, composition situation we can say that car has a wheel car has a seat belt and so has a is yet another test for either association aggregation or composition so remember association 
with no rhombus symbols um, and perhaps I can show it to you I have a separate small little diagram here just basically which which talks specifically about uh, uh, the kind of associations that we have we have uh, so feel free to use these associations in your semester project because uh, uh, I want you to explore the possibilities of having aggregation and composition and plane association and of course inheritance inheritance is very effective uh, in to describe very re related subjects but uh, uh, these are examples and those are the the kinds of uh, the kinds of uh, 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 relationships uh, that are standard in UML so association is just one one line so it's it's very uh, it's very it's it's the most uh, simple version 